What is going on everybody? I'm Bolts Clown, and we are back on TU14, like features, tricks, tips, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, so this one is going to be like quick, easy, fast, whatever you want to call it, or I guess quick and easy. Quick and fast are the same thing, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so just fast and easy, XP, and it's going to be, uh, like, getting more... Oh, okay, let's go. We've got to go in the nether. So we have to go in the nether, and you need a pickaxe of, uh, I believe it's stone or better. I believe. I'm not positive. I have made... <laughs> you would think I would know these things. But yeah, so like you need, you need a, a pretty decent uh, pickaxe, and then you need... Uh, you just need to go in the nether. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I got so I finished him off, <laughs> and then you go in the nether, and then if you if you can see that there's a whole bunch of little patches of nether quartz, and that is the key to this is that you want to harvest nether quartz, and they actually give you a decent amount of XP. Like look at that, like only a couple blocks. I'm already almost to the to the to the next level, but I'm um, like you can find them in a lot of times you'll find them in these big groups, so you'll get a whole bunch. And what you do is like you'll uh, like it's like they're all over the place. You can see. Um, <clears throat> Here, I'll tell you how to do it in a second, but like basically you get all these XP from this and then you can obviously build them and stuff and you can uh, make them in all, you make them into different types of blocks, obviously. But the biggest thing is like, look at this, like like two veins and we're up to level three. And this is, it's more common than coal, I think it's coal, iron, and gold like all put together. Like it's super common in the nether, like just in these few little spots. I've already found enough to make me, what, five levels? Maybe six? I mean, <laughs> that is a lot of uh, nether quartz, if I do believe. But yeah, so what's cool about this, though, is that uh, you can get a whole bunch of uh, nether quartz, and you can kill the mobs, you can live in the nether, do whatever you want, and then once you're done, and you have all of the proper amount of nether quartz, here, I'll, uh, I got th I'm not sure if you have to leave the nether to do this, or not, but I'm just going to do it because I prefer not to die and lose all my stuff. <laughs> so, like, I go back through the nether, and then when I'm in there, then I want to save and quit. So, here, I'll do it. Um, do it here in just one a second. Oh, my gosh, that's a creeper. <laughs> Dang it. You suck, creeper. Okay, so you just save and quit. So, I'm going to save game. Sh oh, dang it, I didn't quit. <clears throat> so, I'll come back once I am uh, on the main menu, and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so here we are on the dashboard of the Minecraft Xbox 360. This will work on PlayStation 3 also. This is just it uh, I have to do on this version because it's out first. Okay, so you just go to the world that, that you were just in. You were getting all that nether quartz. And once you have it all done, like I said, you just cut you back out. Or you save and quit and exit and everything. And you go to more options on that same world. And you click reset nether. So all the way down here at the bottom. I'm going to turn on host privileges just because like the way my nether portal was. It was way out in the middle of nowhere. And so <laughs> I'm, I'm, be, I'm not going to be able to fly. I mean, so, so I can fly. So you want to set it to reset the nether. And then you want to load up the game. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, wait. Uh, more options. There we go. So I got to reset. I, I guess you have to actually click reset. And you have to officially do it. So here we go. Reset the nether. And then all of that... Uh, all of that, uh, what was it called? Nether quartz, my bad. <laughs> all the nether quartz will reset. I'm not sure if it will randomly do it. So, like, you might have a whole new nether. I'm not positive on that. I guess we'll find out. But, yeah, so basically, uh, it'll all reset. So, you can just remine it all again. And, basically, you have infinite amounts of nether quartz. So, you have tons and tons of nether quartz, which is cool. Because it's amazing for building with all the different types of nether. Or all the different types of stuff you can make with it. I actually need to make a flint and steel because that stupid creeper blew up my thing. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I'll find a uh, flint and steel and then let's see. Uh, there it is. Okay, so I see the flint and steel. Reset it. Get me some food back. <laughs> and then we go back to the nether. Hopefully, uh, it's good. Oh, yeah, I need to turn on a host privileges. Oh, I didn't do it. So this is a reset nether. Uh, like a fully regenerated one. It should be fresh as the day that you can... Oh, do it. Oh, no. There we go. That's why I needed it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that nether. That is terrible. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so basically, you can see like this is exactly how it was. So apparently it doesn't change. I, I wasn't positive it did change, and now I'm on fire. <laughs> but um, basically, like see, now you can get all those uh, pieces of nether quartz again and get all those XP levels. So I thought, this, I thought this was cool because, you know, like mob grinders are difficult to make. They're kind of a pain to run. And, uh, and like me, for example, I'm not very good at using them or building them. So this is like a super easy way to get early levels to get, you know, like the like super easy stuff. And you get tons of nether quartz. So it's a win-win. Oh, that almost killed me. <laughs> but okay, so that's all for this video. I thought this was a cool little thing that, uh, that you guys would like to know about. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you rub that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out.